Hi, my Gucci Spike, please go. Rimshus, delicious, amazing. Gemini, welcome to your love tarot reading. Every kid, every baby. Today, we are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my papa, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. All right, so let's. <laughs> Did you hear that confirmation? Oh my gosh. As you know, I live in Old Town Paphos. There's always like, you know, weird noises going on here and stuff like that. Uh, Pavos, Cypress, so grateful to be here. I love you, my babies. By the way, uh, let me know in the comments below, how are you doing? And I know, I know, I know, it is what it is. I've decided we're gonna do more videos where it's kind of like, you know, just me living my life and stuff like that. I wanna show you my life, share more of my life with you. You always see me on the beach, you see me, you know, in, in you know, makeup and, you know, the Blue Angel costume, but sometimes you just don't see me you know, living my life. All right, anyways, enough about me. So, uh, let me know, Gemini. Are you vibing with this? Is the no makeup scary? Let me know. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, not kidding. All right, Gemini, uh, let's see. What is going on between you and your person? Uh, you know, whether that's your um, beloved, whether that's the new stray cat you found by the dumpster. <laughs> hinge you know what i mean like we all know we all it's 2024 dating is what it is so let's uh let's see what's happening in may 2024 for gemini and their person i'm sorry don't cancel i'm waffling on um it's also first thing in the morning afternoon all right so because your mommy wakes up late uh and you know this is my vibe first thing in the morning <laughs> let's see uh oh my gosh Bibu, no <clears throat> no, 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 Gemini, don't. No. Somebody was trying to guilt trip you. You have a person on your hands, you know, and we do assume drama between you and your douche flute, douche flute, tells anyone in between, and the you versus them. And someone's trying to guilt trip you so bad. The three of swords. <clears throat> they were projecting, gaslighting, trying to make you feel bad about what they themselves were doing. You know what I mean? They accused you of the very thing that they did. They feel like you've moved on from them, the chariot. Fast and furious, too. It was like, boom. Maybe you got tired of some trauma here. Maybe, and you know, these energies can't switch. But someone here, and I think it was you, you got in your car, you got on a plane, you know, you got in your moped, your horse, high horse, you know, and you're like, okay, bye, bip -bip. Not today, Satan. I am unavailable. <sighs> this person hurts you so much. They did something real despicable. And then they accused you of the same thing. You know what I mean? They t try to turn it back on you. Gaslighting 101. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Also, Gemini, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm. If you vibe with my channel, don't forget to leave me a little like, little comment, because that really helps me out with the AI overlords. Of course, subscribe and like. Um, but yeah, if you want to help out the channel a little bit, the way to do it is leave me a little comment. It doesn't have to be positive. It can be hate. I'll take it. Boop, boop. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> you know your mommy loves you because I don't know. I just vibe with it. I'm a Scorpio Southern Rising, but I'm just, I got that Gemini lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Um, Gemini style. Gemma style. G style. Okay, no, that sounds a little wrong. Okay, shh, don't, don't tell the AI overlords because there's some stuff we can't say on YouTube. But, okay, the Ten of Swords uh, for your person in the past. Oh, my gosh. This person, listen, if it was a new energy, bimbo, himbo, anyone in between, this is someone who came into the relationship, uh, the connection, the communication, the dating. They came already defeated, already feeling disappointed, like the world is against me. This is someone who is you know went through a uh, bad divorce bad separation and they feel like they had to leave that person everything they felt hard done by whoa is me the ten of swords you know and at some point in their life they realized let's see why this ended for them in the past let's see yeah the six of swords but why to want yeah so this person at some point um learned how to blame all of their faults on the other person i do see a past relationship ending here for them because uh, because of them, because of their selfishness. The Six of Swords, the Two of Wands. Maybe uh, for some of you, this person came in to a dating situation with you. They had been in a, in a long distance relationship as well and that gave them a lot of disappointment or they had to like leave a lot of stuff behind. But it's all kind of selfish energy. There's a reason why their past relationship ended and they were a big reason for that because they used to only think about themselves. Um, their own little bubble, their own little thing. Hmm. Hmm. 
the sun between you so um what kind of happiness did you want with them and what kind of happiness did they want with you? It's almost like, you know, the sun was shining so brightly on them when they met you because you are a sparkle, you know, a, a scrumptious little sparkle in the world or big sparkle, you know, anything in between. But you know what I mean? Like, y you were, you brought happiness and joy back into their life because that's what Gemini does. You're just joy, you're scrumptiousness, you're communication, you're the god Mercury, you're um, the, the joker, the comedian, but you, you can also be, um, you know, Shakespeare, you know, you're, you're the communicator and you're like bringing so much joy and sparkle into their life. And this was someone who, mm, despite all their faults, despite being in a bad space mentally, you accepted. <sighs> and still that person didn't appreciate it. Still they, you know, they were like, no, you should show me, you know, what do you bring to the table? <laughs> They had no table, no legs. The table had no legs. I don't know, one leg missing. You know, it was a wobbly table. Uh, six of wands, you did everything you could and you actually try to heal this person as well. You try to be a friend to this person, uh, not just, you know, a date or like a casual thing. You actually tried to like give them some advice maybe or make them feel good and they just did not appreciate it. Uh, and they, Okay, let's see. What was this three of swords about? Because I feel that um, they projected whatever they did onto you. Uh, what was this about? <clears throat> the hermit. Yeah. I think you called this person out because Gemini needs communication. And this person was withholding communication. Or they were in some way um, isolating themselves. You know, not talking to you. Not making you feel like uh, you're being appreciated. You know what I mean? And also, I think they were very... Um, very stingy when it comes to compliments, when it comes to being fun with you, when it comes to being positive with you. And you said like, you know, can you be a little bit more positive with me? I really need that. I'm a Gemini. I deserve it. This person was like, no. Uh, and they turned it back on you. They were like, well, you do that. You don't appreciate me. You don't see what I'm doing. This person literally did nothing. They just brought them, like crawled in and laid themselves down on the ground. And they were like, mm -hmm. Gemini make me feel better and you did and then you were like make me feel better and they couldn't if it was an established connection I'm sorry but Bill but it's gonna be okay if it's an established connection it is someone who again it was the same pattern I think um, could have been uh, 10 10 years six years ten months six months weeks you know like something whether it was a, a partnership marriage dating steadily um, you kept trying to heal this person. You kept trying to, look at this bit bell. You were trying to big them up. You were trying to say, you know, it's going to be okay. You try to be that sparkle in their life. And they just weren't getting it. They just couldn't get over themselves. Uh, they felt like you should keep giving. And uh, they don't need to give you anything. They just gave you themselves. Um, there's a sense here as well that this person... Um, This person could have taken you on a holiday or you could have um, relocated to a place where there's more sun because the sun is here. So like there's like a holiday you went on or you went out into the sun, maybe you moved to a sunnier place uh, and stuff went down. And this person, you know, they kind of betrayed you, but they betrayed themselves, if you see what I mean. So, you know, this person wanted to person wanted to make themselves feel better and they ended the situation where their behavior was so passive aggressive the situation had to end like it's almost like you were resuscitating resuscitating this relationship over and over and over again and in the end it was just like well I mean what else can I do um, they don't know what to do right now you've got the seven of cups here and their intentions they're really confused they don't know how to even relate themselves to the situation they do feel very lonely without you and they do feel guilty about um betraying you because it was a betrayal because they were they're were always just thinking about themselves uh, their own pain they feel guilty about that and they will be sending you a message in about five hours five days five weeks that person is sending you a message maybe for your birthday gemini season but be careful the three of cups at the bottom of the deck so yeah it might be you know in terms of a celebration for your birthday that's going to be an excuse it's an excuse what is the advice for my gemini with this person Ten of Pentacles. 
is this a stable energy okay because i see this person this person vibes with you you know like they're feeling sorry for themselves but they do vibe with you that's why they you know that's why they want to return that's why they want to um fix things on some level even though they're clueless but you know is this a stable energy is this a protector protectress uh, or um you know a receiver of protection you know whatever your role is in the energies you know what i'm saying like is this someone who has any inkling of how stability should be because there's a sense that you need that stability right now you're ready for that stability you were fighting for that stability if it was an established connection this person just was not giving not giving not giving what is the long term? Three of Wands. There is still hope, but this person needs to recognize the mistakes they made and they need to make uh, amends for that. Because karma is a beat, but they'll, and karma will get them. This literally is a card of. I love this card in this deck because I'm not. My least favorite card in the tarot is the Three of Wands because it's always like, okay, whatever. <laughs> what does that even mean? You know what I mean? I mean, I, we know what it means, but um, the Three of Wands is like. Every, you know, every person has one card in the deck where they're like, oh, I don't, whatever. Uh, I don't like the Three of Wands because it's, I don't know, maybe that's a card about me because I travel so much and, you know, I venture forth and I do things. So, you know, maybe it's calling me out. But I don't like the Three of Wands. But in this deck, uh, the Greek Mythos deck, I love this card in the Greek Mythos deck. And this is a card of what goes around comes around and karma because this is Jason, Jason. And his uncle, the king of Thessaly, Thessaly, yeah, who killed his father. And the prophecy said that one day, uh, and Jason was saved uh, and taken into the woods by, you know, uh, a bunch of people and raised. And he was supposed to avenge his father. And the prophecy said, um, one day you will come back as a grown man. And King Pelias, the king, uh, his uncle who killed his father, uh, was told uh, in this prophecy that uh, a man will come one day with one sandal uh, who will be your downfall. And King Pelias saw Jason, Jason um, chanced upon him upon the road and King Pelias was actually uh, drowning in a river and Jason saved him and he lost one sandal doing that. They don't know, Jason doesn't know who this guy is, but Pelias does. So th there's that recognition. My fate has come upon me. What goes around comes around. Mm, that's why Pelias is giving him a crown because he knows that's the rightful king. Okay, <laughs> anyways, trauma. Okay, anyway, Gemini, you know what I mean? What goes around comes around. By the way, the Two of Cups, this is low-key your energy. Love is coming your way regardless. Do you want to choose this love? And, you know, everyone's story is different. Take everything I say with a grain of salt because... You know how it goes. I'm just a random bimbo on the internet. It's a collective reading. But, you know, if you really love this person that you're dealing with, this sad person, they love you too. But are they adequate? This is this is the point. I, particularly if it was an established connection, I see you trying and trying and trying. And is this person trying the same way? Um, <clears throat> Or is there someone out there who can try better and who will recognize your value just like King Pelias uh, recognized Jason, the one, uh, the, the man with the one sandal? You know, what, is there someone out there who will recognize you at first sight? Isn't that better? So I'm just saying, all right, Pippi, let me know in the comments below. This is your douche flute. Uh, also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. I'll see you next time, my Pippi, my Papa, my Gemini. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs>